So what's up guys, Adam here, welcome back to another one of these little challenges, experiments, whatever you'd like to call them. Today, we're going to be taking Arego Saki's Milan, the Milan team from the 80s, the early 90s, and putting them in today's Serie A. And honestly, widely considered one of the best sides in football. We're going to see if we can recreate that magic that they had, win the Serie A, win the Champions League, win the Coppa Italia, see what they can do, jump in for some games Let's go ahead and meet the squad. Starting in goal, we've got Giovanni Galli, one of the most underrated goalkeepers, right footed, six foot two. I tried to recreate the face as much as I can. There's only so much I can do. Not quite as legendary yet, but still on his way to becoming a, a massive player, Paolo Maldini. I went for his baby icon or whatever you'd like to call it, his base icon. 88 overall, left back, medium high work rates, dives into tackles trait. At the back as well is Franco Baresi, 93 overall, prime Franco Baresi, dives into tackles, long passer, team player, the captain of this side. Right next to him is Alessandro Costa Curta. Low high work rates. Didn't really know what to give Costa Curta, but he, he was a fantastic center back. He could play anywhere along the back line. At right back, we do have Mauro Tassotti, 87 overall. I had to do a little bit of research to get some of the overalls. Maybe I'm overrating some of them, but this was a fantastic side. So I really don't mind maybe giving them a boost in overall. In the midfield, Frank Reichard, 91 overall. Just Look at those stats, and I can't wait to use this Dutch trio of Rijkaard, Van Basten, and Ruud Hullet. On the left, I was toying with either Ivani or Donadoni, but in the end, I went for Alberico Ivani. Didn't know what work rates to give him left-footed on that left-hand side. We're also going to be using the tactics of Arigo Saki, Carlo Ancelotti. I could have actually used his manager face and put it on him, but that would just look a little bit weird. So we've got a relatively younger Carlo. Ancelotti in the midfield one of the lowest rated in the side but still was a part of this team that did win the Champions League Angelo Colombo on that right hand side and the two up top that definitely make this team what it is Rud Hullet, the prime Rud Hullet, 26 in its in his time solid player speed dribbler playmaker power header 94 overall I can't wait to actually use this guy and then Marco Van Basten, still not in his prime yet, 24 years old, but still, just look at just look at these stats. Finesse shot, technical dribbler, and just like the Arsenal Invincibles, we're gonna jump in and out of games, jump in and out of simulation. But the first game of the season is away against Inter Milan, so you best believe we're playing a derby. So yeah, Saki was the manager twice for Milan, from 87 to 1991 and 96 to 1997, but we're going to focus on the 87 to 91 team. Obviously, there, there is some players that are excluded from this, but he won the Serie A title in his debut season and then dominated European football by winning back-to-back -back Champions Leagues. Back then, they were the European Cups in 1989 and 1990, so that's what we're going to be basing it on. We're going to try to win the Champions League we're gonna try to win the Serie A in our debut season but obviously it's all through simulation so let's get straight into the Derby we also do have this Champions League kit that we're gonna wear if we reach the Champions League final I'm hoping this team can go all the way it doesn't have any sponsors and I couldn't get like the 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 old logo but we're sponsored by Kappa there is the home kit and I'm hoping you guys do like the recreation Derby de la Maronina, going with a 4-4-2. We also do have the tactics set up, just going to be pressing and pressing and uh, oh, just that attacking football that Arigo Saki was known for with all the instructions for all the players. Oled, Van Basten, Ivani, Rijkaard, Ancelotti, Colombo, Maldini, Costa Curta, Baresi, Tassotti, and Gali in goal at San Siro. Let's hopefully dominate. Some of the faces might not look the same. Okay, that's Sandanovic. What a mistake. Oh, man. The constant pressure, the possession after uh, the, the pressure after the possession loss might need to do some offside traps as well because they like to play that high line at the back. Nice ball by Rod Hullet. Marco Van Basten. Would have been a beautiful strike. Brea. Pulls it across to Eden Dzeko. 1-0 <laughs> down. Hopefully this doesn't last long. Van Basten. Nice ball to Marco Van Basten. This has got to be a finish. Oh, what a strike. 
back in this one. Marco van Basten. What a strike. Keep going, Rude. Oh, what a ball. Oh, beautiful ball movement. Rude, pull it on. Handanovic, great finish. <laughs> it was going to take a little bit of time. But we're back in this one, Rude, hold it. Nicely done by Tassotti, Gali. An easy save. Going out wide, Rude. Van Basten gives. And he's going to go. Oh, lovely. Pull that one back into Van Basten. Van Basten in there for number two. Beautiful football this. And we take the derby 3-1. No doubt in my mind that the Champions League hopefully is going to be good for us. Like, we, we won't need to worry about it. But just in case, we're going to simulate right now till the 1st of November and see how the team will fare in the Serie A in the Champions League. Already another victory. 1-1 draw against Sampdoria and a 3-2 victory to start off our Champions League campaign. And learning from the Arsenal one, I wanted to play Champions League, but in the end, we ended up losing to Atalanta. So maybe we'll see about... I don't know, playing the semi-finals, quarter-finals. If we're there, we take our first loss to Juve. And then Liverpool. And, okay, and then Napoli. All right, so uh, not very good there. Three losses in a row. Juve, Liverpool, Napoli. What's wrong, guys? Come on. Month of November starts off with a 2-0 victory against Liverpool. So it's looking all but secure. The Champions League Porto. Going to be at San Siro, 3-2 victory against Cairi, 4-0 against Sassuolo. And then we lose against Porto in the Champions League. How is our, our group table sitting? We're currently one point off a top spot heading into the month of December. In the Champions League, it seems like the last game is probably make or break, depending on what Porto does. It's just after this Torino match. This is the, the last game we're going to play before heading into the month of January. And hopefully Liverpool can do us a solid by beating Porto. We win. We're in. If we lose, uh, it depends what uh, Liverpool and uh, and Porto does. And I'd love to see some of the players lining up here in the Champions League. You know what? We'll save that for the Champions League final. Because I have a feeling we're hopefully going to get there. Come on, guys. Pull it. Ivani. Van Basten's making the run in. Great ball to Marco Van Basten. One touch. And the finish by Van Basten. 1-0 up. Let's go. Continue on like this, boys. Carrasco. Gali makes... Oh, what a save, Giovanni. Colombo. Oh, what a save by Gali. And, okay. Well, that's easy. All block. Literally, the exact same thing happened in my Milan career mode. All block. Thinking I was going one way. Passes. Van Basten. The interception. Van Basten the goal. But easy now. Gonna try to shut it down, Gali. Unorthodox save, Suarez. Getting his own rebound. Where did my defenders go? Ancelotti. Ivani. Great ball. Great ball, Ivani now. He's got Oblak to beat. He's gonna go. Oh, that's a fine save by Jan Oblak. Tried to go across goal, Alberico Ivani. And I tried. <laughs> I tried to find a face model that looks like him, but I just couldn't. Hull it. Oh, just out jumping that one. Carrasco. No, Baresi, come on. I don't think that really does much a draw, but Baresi beaten. No way. All right, for a second, uh, <laughs> I thought something was going to happen. But if you take a look at it, we finished second in our group. Honestly, thought we would be destroying this group of Liverpool. 13 points, so we're heading into the knockout stages. Currently sitting in first as we're heading into the month of January. These two final games, and then we'll show you the halfway point of the season stats. A Spezia away. F we lose to Spezia. Come on, guys. You're a lot better than this. And Roma next. Don't tell me that's going to be a loss too. Okay, it's going to be a 3-0 victory against Roma. Most appearances is Gali, Tassotti, but I Okay, literally everybody have this has the same amount of appearances i'm sure they start every game and uh, some of these players do come on but uh, there's nothing we can do about that Rud hullet 10 goals five assists ivani and van basten with eight each so individually they're not doing that well colombo ancelotti with four tasotti Rijkaard with two we've got gali Baresi, costa corta and maldini with no goals and the most assists is ivani and 
Rud Hullet. He has seven goals, three assists in the Serie A, three goals, two assists in the Champions League. I think the 1st of April is an okay time to simulate to Lazio, Atalanta, and then... Spe okay, all right, so... We draw against Atalanta. Spezia beat us last time. Okay, we advance into the next round of the cup where we take on Lecce. Probably only going to play the Coppa Italia if we get to the final. We'll see how the team will do. We're just on, on another level this month. Haven't lost a game yet. Fiorentina on the 30th. We're going to win 2 0. So heading. In, uh, Venezia loss. Juve loss. Spezia win. Come on, guys. You should be beating teams like this. Sporting 0 0 draw. And now I'm scared. And we draw 1-1 to Juve. So that's us out of the Coppa Italia. Coming off a 2-1 loss to Bologna, guys. I really thought this team would dominate. Round the 16 against Sporting. The first leg was 0-0. Uh, I'd like to take a look at the Serie A because it doesn't look... Well, we're in third place. Only three points off of Inter. But this one is going to be simulated. We can jump in if ever there's an opportunity or it seems like we might lose this game. But everybody's there. Nobody's injured. So I don't know why we're doing that poorly. We have a fantastic side. 5-2-3 for Sporting. Away, go away goals don't count for anything. So if this finishes 1-1, it heads into extra time. Let's get the job done, hopefully. Oh, yeah. There it is, Hullet. There it is, Hullet. I was combing my beard. <laughs> Hullet scoring. 1-0 up. Maybe it's the the pressing, the, the offside trapping, the... The tactics that are making us concede so many goals. And that's why we lost some of the games. And honestly, by the simulation, I'm a bit surprised. I really am with Van Basten and Hullet and Maldini and Baresi. I thought things would be a lot better for us. But apparently, we're not unstoppable, which is which is cool. Because maybe in the, the modern day Serie A, they weren't, I don't know. <laughs> they weren't able to tough it out as we got a couple losses and... We're, we're only three points off, but I'm loving seeing the variation of results. Van Basten, uh, that's Hullet. Trying to maybe look for Van Basten. Hullet is so fast. Angelotti. Van Basten, Hullet. Great goal by Angelo Colombo. Good stuff. 2-0 up. We can breathe. Oh, what a goal by Evani. Great build-up play. 3-0, guys. I think we can just jump the results. 90 minutes. Evani, Colombo, Hullet into the next round of the Champions League. You guys scared me for a little bit there with the simulation, but we get it done in, in, in the match simulation, I guess. Borussia Dortmund in the next round of the Champions League. Simulating till there, Sampdoria before the, the end of the month of March. It's a 2-0 victory. Love that. 4-0 against Empoli. 2-2 draw against Dortmund. Now, honestly, Dortmund, I think if we go ahead and simulate it, I, I think we could win it because we're at home. And like I said, guys, it's a simulation. If we're meant to win it, we're meant to win it. And it's going to be a three. Oh, Manchester City. 1-0 loss to Juve. 5-1 to Elas Verona. 1-1 draw against Manchester City. And the next leg is away. So we're, we're obviously going to have to go ahead and simulate it. But let's just take a look before we go. Because I'm, I'm probably only going to play the Champions League final now since we're so far into it. 76 points. Inter right behind us. I have to keep my eye out for that just in case maybe the last game is crucial. Let's go, guys. Roma and then City away from home. This is make or break. If we win, we're through. If we lose or any... Okay, that's it. It's Milan into the Champions League final. Yes, it is. When is it? I think it's the other game first. I forgot that uh, they do play on Wednesday. Let's take a look at who we are going to be potentially facing in the Champions League final. It's between Real Madrid and Villarreal. That's crazy. Maybe going to be Real, depending on what happens during the game. Let's simulate a couple of days. Then we do have Atalanta. We're on 79 points. Osaki's Milan in the Champions League final are going to be playing Villarreal. That's crazy. That's amazing. Two more victories. And we win the Scudetto. So first, it's Atalanta. Juve can only get 84 points. So that's a good start. Our next victory against Salernitana is the Scudetto deciding game. If we win, we, we win the Scudetto. If we lose, I think we may need to play the final game against Inter. I would love to play the Derby again, but it's probably going to be Salernitana if we win, which I'm hoping. And then the Champions League final. So let's get into it. Would have been something really special to see us lift the Scudetto in front of our own fans. But... 
I'll take it. Either way, a fine season. In today's day and age, they'd still be doing well in the Serie A. But a couple losses here and there could have derailed this season. And honestly, I had no doubt in my mind that they'd go far in the Champions League. And it just it's just nice to see that we're going to be playing in the Champions League final to end off this video. Let's get this done. Already Salernitana putting some passes, like really good passes, and then putting some out of place. Good interception by Costa Curta. Looking to take it to the line. Drop it back for Rude. Pull it. Oh, what a save. Trying to deny us the Scudetto. Good, good start by Milan here. Pull it. Is he going to be able to out jump? No, he won't. Van Basten now. Lovely stuff by Van Basten. Colombo. Got options in here. Van Basten. Oh, what a goal. Beautifully taken volley by Van Basten. Here's Maldini. What a challenge by Maldini. What a challenge by Maldini. The touch by Marco. Pull it. Great pass. Oh, what a save. We're just tearing this team to shreds. Colombo sliding in the defender, and he just gets a fantastic challenge. Good stuff by Marco Van Bast. This goalkeeper. This goalkeeper is really doing the most. Van Basten maybe needed to be better than that. Van Basten up. Maldini there. Comes down to Ancelotti. Pull it. Down to Van Basten, the touch, Van Basten, the shot, the save. Van Basten. Oh, a little flare pass by Van Basten, and he's through on goal. Marco Van Basten dropping it for Rude. Pull it. Beautiful work. Beautifully worked, boys. 2-0 up. Costa Corta. Ancelotti. Rijkaard. Oh, what a ball. Oh, what a ball. Pull it. Through on goal. Rude for number two. That is an incredible pass by Rijkaard. And Hullet doing a modern day celebration. This is where maybe creating some other players would have come in clutch so we can bring them on. But honestly, guys, this took way too long to do. So these are the 11 players that you get. Evani, I could have had Donadoni, I could have had Massaro, but it's all right. I think I got the essence of the team. Salernitana, just not in this one at all. Van Basten, Ancelotti, great ball. Hullet threw on goal, lovely stuff by Rud. Hullet, that is incredible by Hullet. 4-0, Patrick for Hullet. It's over, Campione, definitely. <laughs> it would have been nice to have clinched it in front of our own fans at the San Siro in another derby, but we have to do it. We have to settle for here against Salernitana. Milan, I, honestly, 87-91 to 91, Milan. Got to be winning the Scudetto. We've got the Champions League final, unfortunately not going to be playing in the Coppa Italia final, but it's all right. Campione, what a side, honestly. The Dutch trio, Hullet, Van Basten, and Rijkaard, combined with Baresi and Maldini, honestly made for such a fantastic side that I wish I could have seen growing up, and for some reason it just skipped right past the celebrations. I don't understand anything. And then we go ahead and win 2-1 over Inter. Champions League final against Villarreal. We'll see how this game pans out. But if, if there was any indication from that last game, guys, we're probably going to dominate. Going to be wearing our white kit. The final stats before we head into the final game. 24 and 24 goals for Marco Van Basten and Ruud Hullet. As well as 12 assists for Hullet. 5 assists for Van Basten. Ivani with 20 goals. 8 assists. Colombo 11 and 10. Tassotti, Baresi, Rijkaard, Ancelotti with 6 each. Last time Baresi had no goals. 8 assists for Baresi. 11 for Frank Rijkaard. Did you see that pass he made into Hullet before? It was incredible. Then we have Maldini with 2. And obviously, well, Gali with none. And Costa Curta, just a rock solid defender. Champions League final against Villarreal. Are they going to be crowned Champions League winners? Let's jump straight into it. Wearing that white kit. No sponsor, just a Milan crest that if we could have had the old crest, it would have been nice, but we can't. And the Kappa logo. Let's get straight into it. Oh, what a side. Look at those players coming out. Rijkaard, Maldini, Baresi. The knockout phase as Milan beating Sporting, beating Dortmund, beating Manchester City. And now in the finals against Villarreal. It's nice to see a different side in the Champions League final. I, I really thought it was going to be Real Madrid. Uh, they are lining up. The modern-day Villarreal taking on the 80s, early 90s 
Milan, Arigo Saki's Milan, and this whole video has culminated to this point. And let's see if we can pick up the double this season, the doppietta in, in the European Cup. We're gonna call it the European Cup because that's what it was called back then, but it's known as the modern day Champions League. Van Basten and Hullet. Am I uh, just like, just, it's so beautiful. I wish I could have recreated it perfectly, but I tried my best. I know there was also some black on the collar, but that is the best that I can do. And let's get this match going. Champions League final time. Costa Corta goes for the challenge. Oh, great save by Giovanni Gali. What a great side Villarreal is. Great ball into Hullet. Got the defender the beat. Good skill by Hullet. Uh, Seth, I thought I would have sent the defender the opposite way. Benedetti. Oh, Baresi. It's a rare miss sliding challenge by Baresi. The rebound falls straight to Daoud. And that might be offside. It is. Milan struggling in this one. And a breakthrough. He's got Angelo Colombo. Great ball to Angelo. The save. Attacking wise, Gali had to bail us out. 45 minutes left, and then I don't know, maybe extra time. And Boston. Ancelotti. I can see Hullet making the run. Oh, what a ball by Carlo Ancelotti. Rude. Hullet. There it is, guys. The first goal of the match finally comes in the 52nd minute. Rude Hullet. Hopefully on our way to the Champions League. Costa Corta. No. Costa Corta. It's just outside the box. It's just outside the area. Costa Corta. It's going to be a final minute free kick. Two minutes added on. That's the wrong idea. Cross comes in, Baresi's there, get this, clear Baresi. Pizzi, Pareo, the strike from just outside, Hullet with the block, surely. See this one through, Hullet. Ivani is making the run forward. Can he kill off the game, Ivani? Good touch by Ivani. Maybe take it to the corner, okay, it's gonna be a free kick. Yes, it will be, all right. We're gonna have a free kick this entire video and we've got one here to seal the deal. Peña, gonna be a yellow card. I can't believe that, Hullet. 23 yards out. Do I curve it or do I dip it? I'm going to go for curve. Rude. Hull it. Beautifully done by Rude. Hull it. Give me more free kicks, EA, please. Not just in this. Just give it to me in, in the Milan career mode as well. And I'm going to... Oh, what a free kick by Rude. Hull it. It obviously helps when you have a fantastic free kick stat. But just under the bar. Hull it. Wall. Can't do anything about that one. Goalkeeper can't do anything about that one as well as Hullet. Just an absolute monster. And that is the Champions League final hours. The Champions League winners. Sakis Milan. I, In the end, guys, the goal of this video was to see how they would fare in the modern era. And you can see that they really did fare well. Scudetto, Champions Champions League winners, Coppa Italia, we had to lose, but Costa Corta, what a scary moment on one end, comes back the other way, Hullet puts the nail in the coffin, 2-0 victory against Villarreal, who honestly were such a fantastic side, what an amazing side, let me know what other sides you would like to see done in this, they take a long time to make, but I'm gonna try to bring them out, and you guys seem to have loved the Arsenal one, I hope you guys are gonna love this one, as Franco Baresi, lifting the Champions League trophy alongside a guy like Maldini who's going to go on to win a couple more and uh, obviously a disappointing one in 2005. But let me know if you'd like to see some other videos like this. Maybe not just recreating sides, maybe recreating some players' careers. Just let me know as Baresi showing the Champions League trophy to the Milan faithful. If you guys have enjoyed this episode, you guys can leave me a like down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you're new around here on our way to 20k subscribers. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you next time.